problem of staying a victim is you never truly get healed. And I'm going to go back to what she said within the church that I learned from Dan Moeller back in 2012. Satan doesn't really care if you go to church on Sunday. And this is even more amazing. He doesn't care if, like Gina said earlier, he doesn't care if you can give somebody a word of knowledge yeah. or you can pray for somebody and they get out of a wheelchair. Or you can raise the dead. He's not really that concerned about that. Because people could still do that and not be free and not know who they are in Christ. Satan is after your identity. He, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. He's not impressed with your church attendance. He's not impressed if you give somebody a word of knowledge and can read their, their mail or tell them their social security number. What impresses him, or what flips him out, is somebody that when they are treated terribly, or bad things happen in their life, they keep their eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, the Bible says, and they're not shaken by it. That's what, he, that's what impresses him, that's what he's not used to, because an old Dan quote is, the devil truly doesn't believe that we love God as Christians. He just thinks that we need him. So if God takes away the blessings and protection off of her life, he believes that everybody is just like him and will turn their back on God. Right. So he really doesn't believe that we love him and we can worship him. He's not even impressed if you go on Sunday and you got the hand, both hands up in the air right. praising God and singing all the worship songs. Yep. It's how do we act when we're thrown in the fire? How do we handle a situation?